Hey guys, welcome to my new video. In this video, I will show how to make this with Blender. Let's get started. So friends, after finish video, I will share project files for download. First, let's select these all elements, light, cube and camera, let's delete it. Then go to add, mesh and plane. Okay, and then go to here, select edit mode. Okay, and let's select this move tool. Select this icon for select edge. And let's select this edge and let's move to here like this. Okay, and let's click A for select all face. And go to extrude. Let's extrude object like this. Okay, not bad. Click move tool and let's click A again for select all face and click air for rotation tool. Change rotation 90. Click enter. Let's click A again, move to up. Okay, and let's go to here, select this vertex mode. Let's select this for vertex. Let's move it down a little bit. Okay, so select this again edge mode. Let's select this, hold shift, select this, this and this edge. Then go to bevel. Let's bevel like this. And go to bevel settings. Chain segments 10. Okay, let's click move tool again. Right now, go to select face tool. Let's select this face. Hold shift, select this. Okay, then back to edge tool. And let's go to again bevel. Let's bevel like this. Chain segments again 10. Click move tool. And back to object mode. Okay, nice. For fix this problem, let's select object, right mouse and shade smooth. Okay, very nice. So in this time, let's go to add, mesh and create cylinder. And press S, chain scale. Okay, click move tool, move to up. And chain rotation, click R, click X and 90, click enter. Okay, let's click one in numpad. And go to click this icon. And let's press S, chain scale again. And move to here. Move to up. Let's shift D and click S for cancel this move. And move to right. And select this again, two cylinders. Let's shift D and click S for cancel again move. And move to right. Okay, so select these four cylinders. Let's move to here like this. And back to perspective. Click this icon. Move to inside like this. Okay, so in this time let's select this plane. Go to modifier, add modifier. And let's search here boolean. Okay, select this icon, select this cylinder, nice, let's select this cylinder and hide, then select again plane, and go to click this icon, let's duplicate boolean, and click X, click this icon, select this cylinder, hide cylinder 2, again let's duplicate this boolean, click X, and let's select this cylinder, Okay, and again duplicate, click X and select this cylinder. Let's hide these cylinders. Okay, let's select these cylinders and enable. And let's try move to right. Okay, that's good. So let's hide again and select this plane and let's go to here click apply 
and this apply and this and this again go to here and open normals click checkbox for auto smooth okay very nice so in this time go to add mesh and create torus and let's change radius like this and change radius here and segments okay let's move to up and chain rotation click air rotation and click y and 90 okay let's move to here press s chain scale again move to down okay that's good and for fix these polygons select these torus right mouse shade smooth and click one in numpad let's see okay we can change scale a little bit okay let's shift d and cancel this move click s move to right and select these two torus shift d again click s and move to left nice so let's select this plane and go to click cursor let's click here and go to object set origin and click origin to 3d cursor click move to again okay and right now i want to change scale a little bit let's go to edit mode and click a for select all face and click scale tool and let's change scale a little bit like this okay back to object mode nice and let's select this plane shift d for duplicate and click ask okay and move to left change rotation like this okay and move to right okay not bad and let's move to right this okay not bad let's move to left a little bit and let's select this plane shift d click ask and move to here change rotation like this and move to back okay nice not bad and let's move to down and this let's move to down okay that's good let's select this and chain rotation a little bit and this chain rotation okay not bad okay then click move tool and let's go to add click text and let's move to here text and go to edit mode and let's delete this text right here zoom and let's click enter seven and okay okay so then let's back to object mode go to modifiers let's search solidify change like this 
and click S, change scale. I want to put object here. Let's go to enable snap and open here. Select this face project and enable align rotation to target. And let's see. Okay, that's good. Let's move it down. Okay, very nice. Let's press S, change scale a little bit. Okay, I like it. So let's add materials and render. So first, let's select this plane, go to materials, click new, and let's use base color like this. And for C materials, go to click this icon, viewport shading. Nice. And select this plane, go to again materials, click new, select color green and select this plane go to new base color let's use yellow okay and select this torus go to create new material and let's change metallic 1000 okay let's change a little bit like this and select other Torus and go to click this icon, select material 4 and this make some 1, select 4 and this use material 4. Okay, let's select this text and let's create new material. Click new and open base color. Let's change these colors. Okay, let's. Okay, this is not bad. White is not bad. Okay. So, then go to here, render properties, change render engine cycles, and device CPU. Okay, and the noise, click render tool for render shading. Then go to film and click for checkbox for alpha channel. Okay, go to click word properties and click this yellow circle and let's add environment texture. Click open and go to blender folder. Open blender 3 and data files, studio light, world and let's use interior. Click open image. Okay, nice. And let's try other HDRI. Okay, not bad. I like this interior. So friends, thank you for watching my video and don't forget to subscribe channel, like video and please follow me on Instagram. Good luck.